There are people on the internet who swear these are exactly like Lululemon's at a fraction of the cost. This is wonderful, but there is a really big problem. This might be my favorite workout set that I've ever owned. I bought a ton of highly rated Amazon outfits and I wanted to see if they were as good as they looked in those very unreliable Amazon photos. I decided to go on an Amazon shopping spree. Oh, is that my address? Ah. I love Amazon, but when it comes to clothes, it can be a very questionable place. I have tried on sweaters from Amazon. I've tried on jeans from Amazon. I'll link either or both of those videos here. In this video, I'm shocked to say that I liked a lot of things that I got. Let's start with these leggings that people say are exactly like Lululemon leggings. Lululemon leggings, they're very expensive. They're very high maintenance. You have to hand wash them. You have to air dry them. And a lot of people don't think they're worth the hype. I will buy the cheapest, most unreliable crappy stuff if I can afford one pair of Lululemons a year. But I was really hopeful that these would be a very affordable dupe. The brand is called CRZ Yoga. I'll link all of these in the description if you guys wanna check them out. They are a front of the cost. They are super soft. They're very high waisted. They do feel more like a yoga loungy pant than like a structured tight workout pant, but that's really what I usually wear workout pants for anyway. Does anyone work out in workout pants? <laughs> These are really comfortable. They're really high waisted. They're really well built. There's only one problem. All the things I've been hiding in quarantine are hidden no more. They're so thin. You can literally see my underwear in them. I also got this black and white pattern pair as well. I dealt with the same issue with both of these. Maybe it's because they're both tightly patterned or something. Some of the other options of colors and styles were sold out, so maybe I just got two bad pairs. They're the softest leggings of the bunch that I got. They're not as soft as little lemons. If you can find a pair that isn't see-through, I do agree these are pretty close. But when your pants are as see-through as these two were, it's kind of unacceptable, especially when you're in a yoga class and your butt and all of its contents are in some stranger's face. If you're gonna run errands, if you're gonna Zumba, if you're gonna hike, if you're gonna bake some banana bread for the 10th time and eat the whole thing by yourself alone in the kitchen, these would work perfectly for that. Now, for a workout set that is pretty close to being perfect is this one. If I could give this set six stars on Amazon, I would. I was a little judgmental when I saw the photos, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I was skeptical, I shouldn't say judgmental. But on the model, it looked way too good to be true. I was fully expecting to hate this suit, but I am obsessed. The pattern is so cute, it is perfectly heathered in this really pretty periwinkle purple color. The quality is really thick, it's not see-through at all. Although you can tell that you're wearing underwear underneath it, you can see the ridges. Because it's thick, it's not as soft as the other pairs that I got in the bunch. But what it lacks in thickness, it makes up in performance. I do not know where these innuendos are coming from, but I'm gonna try to suppress them for the rest of the video. <laughs> when I'm working out, I want something that's supportive, that's gonna suck me in, hold me in. I would say this fits more like an extra small. By the way, I got smalls in all of these, which is what I actually wear in workout clothing. I would probably go up a size if you're interested in this. It did fit like an extra small on me. I had very low expectations for these and they superseded all of them. Another impressive set, one that also shocked me. This set looked like it could have been really basic and really cheap on Amazon. I wasn't expecting to like this very much. There are a ton of colors and options. I really liked this army green. It actually reminds me of something that I feel like Kylie Jenner would be wearing on Instagram. I love the ridges. It actually looks a lot better once you put it on than it does just in your hand. It looks very military, more tactical. These are slightly more high wasted than the purple option that I just showed you, but maybe by about this much. Benji, can you please sit still? Mom is working. I filmed this video four times already. This set 
is by far the most shocking of all of the sets for me. It is a long sleeve heathered gray with like orange detailing. I've never really owned a long sleeve workout set before. It is so adorable. It is really comfortable. It's actually more comfortable than the last two sets that I showed you. It is surprisingly so flattering. I don't know why it looks so sexy but has so much more fabric than the other options. It's really supportive, but it doesn't like crush your organs the way that I sometimes like to be crushed during a workout. It just kind of cuddles them. It actually looks very expensive, the detailing on it, the heathered arms. I don't know, there's something about this waistband that's really nice. Like I've seen sets like this cost probably $200 at some of those fancier workout places. I do think I'm gonna have to send this one back mostly because it's just too hot in Los Angeles to be wearing something like this. Maybe if you're a runner in a colder climate, it could work for you. There were a couple of trash items in this pile. This is barely considered clothing. It is more like a rag that you would wash a car with. The design is really cute though. I have to give them that. That's one of the reasons why I bought it because I loved this like tie-dye look. But the fabric is like 10 year old granny period panties. Ladies, you know which pair I'm talking about. The shirt has zero support. The seams are already coming apart. And the pants, they are low rise. And not only are they low rise, they are mullet low rise, which means they are taller in the front and shorter in the back. When I've been over, it was totally plumber's crack on a platter. You could totally see my underwear through it. It is not thick at all. If I had to say like one good thing about it, maybe I could say you could sleep in this. Ugh. I'd rather sleep naked. And this one's going back to the bowels of Amazon where it came from. set looked really cute. It looked cute. It is not. This set is basically a Halloween costume posing as a workout outfit. Maybe it's a Halloween costume workout outfit. It's like dressing up to show people that you work out when you don't. Oh my gosh, this is my new Halloween costume. <laughs> Truly, the fabric, the fit, the texture, it is all something that you would find in a rejected final sale section of Party City. It's like a generic superhero costume. Y'all know how I feel about patterns not continuing on the back of items. The front has this little reflective pattern thing that looks like it was spray painted on, to be honest. And then it doesn't go on the back, which really annoys me so much. The crotch, it's like hanging dangly between your legs. The shirt has no support. And this makes me wonder if you guys have actually tried any workout outfits from Amazon or workout clothing from Amazon that you actually liked, let me know in the comments. If you'd like to watch some of the videos that I mentioned earlier, I will link to them on the screen here, or I'll link to some other videos that I think you're actually gonna love on this channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications, and follow me on Instagram. You might as well. Let's make this relationship official.